Well, good Thursday morning, everybody. It is August 5th, 2021. Uh, for those that may be watching this in another year, uh, or two or three or five or six, or whoever knows. Um, but it is trying to sprinkle out there here in Lake City today. We'd love for it to actually get out and out and rain, but um, we'll take the cooler weather. So uh, yesterday we began chapter four of the First Thessalonians, and uh, we talked about um, brothers and sisters uh, that they were supposed to live the way that, that, that Jesus had taught them, the way that Paul had taught them. Uh, they were supposed to uh, to avoid um, any kind of licentiousness, any kind of sexual deviant behavior, uh, and living that way. Um, they were supposed to control the body and the lust and all of that stuff. They were supposed to live in a holy and honorable fashion. And he's going to continue on, and they're not supposed to cheat each other either. They're not supposed to uh, to uh, to uh, rip each other off, let's say it that way. Um, so, but there, he's going to continue on verses 9 to 12 today to continue uh, instructing them in, in what they are to do. And um, so we're going to pick up there at verse 9 and go through 12 today. All right, chapter 4, 9 to 12. We do not need to write you about having love for your Christian family, because God has already taught you to love each other. And truly, you do love the Christians in all of Macedonia. Brothers and sisters, now we encourage you to love them even more. Do all you can to live a peaceful life. Take care of your own business and do your own work, as, you have, as we have already told you. If you do, then people who are not believers will respect you, and you will not have to depend on others for what you need. Okay. Um, one of the problems you have with, you know, there, there is this, and, and it gets more of a problem in, in 2 Thessalonians, which we'll get to um, probably after I get back from vacation. Probably won't start 2 that We won't start 2 Thessalonians after I get back from vacation, uh, which we'll be back doing that on the 23rd. I will be here next week, though. So we'll, next week we'll be finishing up 1 Thessalonians. Um, <clears throat> any rate, um, one of the problems they have, back to that, is that uh, because people believe that Jesus is coming any day, that's what Paul believed, that's what Paul taught, is that Jesus could be coming any day, any minute. He could be showing up like that uh, uh, on any given Wednesday at 2 o'clock, as they say. Um, but because of that, they thought, well, really don't need to be working. Uh, we can be slacking off and relaxing and just coasting, so to say. Mm -hmm. And there is there was that temptation to coast to the to the end times, I guess, the parousia. Um, it, that 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 would be a real temptation. Um, and we do have that problem with any times of the end time cults that, that, that arise where you've got a leader that thinks they know the exact date. Uh, people quit their jobs, sell all their possessions, things like that. All kinds of things like that can come into to play. Um, but here he's talking, we, you do, excuse, we do not need to write you about having love for your Christian family. You're supposed to love each other. But he wants you to redouble that love. He wants you to really focus on loving each other and loving everyone. And one of the things you do to do that is you live a peaceful life. You don't cause disruption. You don't make incendiary comments. You don't make aggressive comments. Um, even in jest, you don't do that because they said in jest can be misinterpreted and mis misdirected. Um, and uh, you know, just because you think that it's funny um, may not be funny to the next guy. So we have to be a little careful. Not that we want to be overly sensitive by any means because we do live in this crazy culture where, where there is no such thing as joking around. But you don't. But when you when you say something in 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 uh, in a joking way, make sure it comes across as a joking way and not as an attack. Um, and live a peaceful life. Don't inflame others. Uh, take care of your own business and do your own work, as we already told you. That's getting to that thing about don't think you're just going to coast. You need to be do, doing, they, living, you know, li <laughs> living as if it might have been 2,000 years before Jesus comes again or more. Who knows? We don't know. This, uh, that, that's one of the frustrations I have with end time uh, the theology is that these people try to pick a date and when they try to discern all the details, uh, and, and people, you should all know that by now by listening to me, I have frustration with that. If you live your life, and that's what I think Paul's telling us here, live your life day to day, loving each other, doing God's work, and the end times will take care of themselves. Um, that, that will all work out in the end, as they say. Um, but 
we are to actually work. We're not supposed to be, be mooching off of each other or others. And that's what he's saying here. And that's kind of convicting of, the, of some of the things that we have now. And we have, a, uh, we have created a culture where a lot of people um, are feeling like, well, I can just take, you know, collect unemployment or whatever and just coast. Um, use, up, use up the entirety of my, you know, if you get laid off, use up the entirety of my unemployment before I look for a new job. Um, and right now that's a little easier to do than sometimes because there's lots of people looking for work, looking for people to work for them. Um, so it is an interesting, weird, bizarre time. Um, when I graduated from college, there was no one hiring anywhere. And if you found a job, by golly, you were lucky. Um, and you, you didn't mess around. You were applying left and right. So uh, the world has changed in the last 40 years. At any rate, um, that's where I'm going to leave you at today. A short one, I guess. Um, we will pick up tomorrow um, with verse 13, and we'll finish chapter 4 tomorrow. I think I'm going to take Saturday off because next week will give us adequate time to deal with the fifth chapter of, uh, of the Second Thessalonians, um, Monday through Thursday. And I'll be gone Friday and beginning Friday uh, for, for until the, the 22nd. I'll be back to preach on the 22nd. Um, and during that period, I haven't talked to Clint, but I think Clint will be covering for me. Uh, I assume he will have no problem with that. So that's the plan coming up. So with that, I'll let you go. Have a very blessed day. And please, please, please be a blessing to someone today. Bye-bye.